Just to make sure, I then stuck it in an email to you, explaining in more detail on why I thought it posed a potential threat. <laughs> There's a fire exit 29 metres from that hole. 29 metres? <coughs> yep, 29 metres, which leads right onto the factory floor. Anyone could get in there and have thousands of pounds worth of components away. Oh yeah, Wayne said well done for being vigilant. 29 metres? Like, how do you know it's 29 metres? Why does it matter? Because it does. Because you want to take a piss. Look, in one of them old cupboards, I found some stationery. I said I'd take three 30 centimetre rulers together with one 10 centimetre <laughs> rule, then went outside and measured 29 metres in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Did you get a blue Peter badge for that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't quit your day job, will you, man? This is my day job, man. It's a night shift job, there's no fucking day jobs around here. Alright, well. I don't know why you're so concerned about that hole in the fence anyway. It's not like there's a fucking black market for washing machine circuit boards, is it? Like someone going around teeth and fucking washing machine circuit board parts, bro. <laughs> Unless that hole isn't a hole. <laughs> it's actually a black hole to another dimension. And you're like the swarm fucking protector of the galaxy with your magnite torch and your notepad, bro. <laughs> There's videos about people like you on YouTube, man. <laughs> I'm sure there is, bro. I'm sure there is. Look, if anything, there's lead on the roof. That stuff's getting robbed left, right and centre. And apparently, you can get good money for it at scrapyards. Yeah, you could, but for the price gone down, it's not even worth it. That's page three, man. <laughs> what is this, bro? Boy. Oh, what are you doing? I read it, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that's mine. I need that. What for? Saving up the holiday tokens. <laughs> Butlins, yeah? No. Went to Butlins last year. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Gemma are saving up to go to South of France. South of France, bro? Yep. You? Yep. You didn't know like the sun shines down there, didn't you? Like it gets hot in that. Yeah. You got pasty skin, man. You get a sunburn with switch to fucking light. Ha ha, very funny. It's alright for you, you don't know what it's like. Like what do you mean? It's alright for you, you don't know what it's like. Well you're like half black or whatever, you're used to it. <laughs> half Indian actually! And I have you know that I do suffer from sunstroke and or sunburn from time to time. <laughs> and so do some black people. <laughs> you better watch it with them casual racist comments then, man. No, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't mean to cause offence. I was just saying that you're, you're like darker skin than me, so you can tolerate the sun more, that's all. It's alright, man. It's alright. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm still kind of pissed at you for those UKIP BNP statements that you're making there. So, like, to make it up to me, I'm going to let you do the next like, four rounds for me. Like, maybe five. It's up to you, and, like, to make it up to me. <laughs> Hold on, that, you started it. You were cussing me for being pale. That's racist, isn't it? It's not the same, man. No way, because it ain't. <laughs> Brother, I know about you people. Google that shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
reptiles, lizards, Columbus, colonialism, Coldplay, Coca-Cola, David Cameron. <laughs> Bro, I see you drink a Coca-Cola all the time. And you probably like Coldplay. No, no. What's that got to do with me anyway? You're one of them, bro. Yeah, but how does that work? I know you like half white anyway. But what did I tell you about those fucking racist comments you're making there? Bro. Anyway, like, I'm checking my account over and over again. There's, like, there's no pay in there, bro. There's no fucking peas in there. Yeah, same. Check like, it. I check my, my ping out like, over and over again. Like, I'm, I'm gonna fucking call Wayne, bro. Yeah. Like, where's the stolen? I'm gonna fucking tell him, bro. Right. Fucking clown. You ask him about the hole? Yo, wait! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, Stephen. Uh, uh, basically, um, I was up. Uh, it was about my, my, my pay. I, I'm checking my account over and over again, and. Uh, okay. I gave them my time. So. Wait. So, so nothing's not gonna go in there, no? Oh, okay, then. Thanks. Thanks next time, yeah? Thanks, boy. Thanks. Fucking dickhead, bro. <laughs> dickhead. What? Well, did you fucking just hear me? I said, where's my fucking door, bro? I said, where's my fucking paper, like? <laughs> we still want to lay it up. All right. What, what's happening? What did he say? I mean, he said, we're definitely not getting paid this week. Right. OK. Apparently, right. That, that fucking bitch in the office, Louise, worked a half day on Friday. Because of that, we ain't getting paid, even though I did what I was supposed to do. Put my fucking time sheets in, bro. All right. But calm down, right there, stop. this happens all the time, don't worry. No, but I'm, I'm leaving, bro. I'm quitting, that's it, this is you, innit? Like, this fucking shit is you, bro. I'm no, no, like, no, no, look, look, look around this place, innit? If you think about it, like, round here, it's full of pussies and dickheads, bro. Which one are you? Look, bro. Oh, Dickhead! Oh, no, no, bro, what we got to do is email or HR. What are you, what are you doing? Uh, bro, you can't leave. Uh, what, are you going to go on JSA? J JSA, bro? You think I can't fucking do that? Oh, what, fucking fill in those boxes, like, oh, yeah, man was looking for a job on Monday. Or I went on Google on fucking Tuesday, bro. You think I can't do that? I wouldn't even sit in one of those centers where you read old fucking newspapers circling jobs that went three months ago drinking cold tea. You think I ain't fucking done that like, over and over again? Oh, fuck this shit, bro. Listen, bro, all the jobs are like this now. Like, you'll get the dough eventually. I mean, JSA ain't much better. I need take ages to pay. Look, I know we ain't got it, but we will get it. And like, they normally pay on time. You get to buy your trainers every month or whatever and pay your bills. And bruv, you don't even do much. <laughs> what more do you want? More! If you're stuck in a rut and you're feeling low When you smoke loads of weed and you watch all the soaps And you want to know why it hasn't happened for you That that talent and passion is only money for you But you didn't never actually apply yourself You never took a risk, you denied yourself And now you want to blame others for lacking responsibility About better taking any opportunities Can't understand this individualism Whatever happened to living in unison the unions At the backs of our dads and our mums at the church And we agree and credit for seeing the devil's work Now it's information, is the gratification And if you make a mistake, then you must be mistaken Because you can't lose Face in any situation, I remember the last time I waved up the neighbors. <laughs> Oh, 
Flipping down at the curb, staring up at my You can see the stars staring up, give you the screen zoning out Sticking to the rules means we're cloning out We were already all steer around here But they ain't ever ever been around here So stick to the program You'd be happy if you stick to the program Why don't you just stick to the program And everybody just stick to the program So it's in the love of parody, everything shit. It's in the love of parody, everything shit. Hello, stick to the program. Why don't you just stick to the program? It's in the love of parody, everything shit. Hello, stick to the program. Why don't you just stick to the parody? Stick to the shit. Fucking striking tube drivers, isn't it? It's like they're lazy, man. Lazy bastards. Man. Yeah, it's annoying. To be fair, though, like I saw this thing on Facebook this morning, like the status update, explaining about why they're doing it. Something to do with the staff being replaced with machines. And bruv, I've been robbed untold times on them tubes lately, right? Them machines ain't gonna stop that. Now like, they should be sacked, like, even every fucking one of them, like, sacked, fucking sacked, sacked, that. Like, I've got to come to work. Like, why don't they go to work? It's any excuse now, it's any fucking excuse. No, mate. It's the unions, man. Looking out for their people. Oh, what's that, that big geezer's name? Like, uh, Bob something. Bob... Bob Crow, that's the guy. They're sticking up for guys like us, mate. No, I'm a I'm fucking barber, bro. Like, unions, eh? That's what you're saying, bro. Like, unions. David Cameron. The government. You know, that's the same thing, isn't it? Well, mate, if we were in the unions, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't be having these issues getting paid. And me and you might actually have proper fixed-term contracts. Black like pensions, holiday and sick pay and all that. Bro, what fucking planet are you living on? Like contracts, sick pay, pension. This shit don't change, bro. bro my granddad was in the unions. Is it? For years. He worked on the railways and the unions looked after him. They used to have this social club we go to on the weekend. They had like full size snooker tables, they do discos, and like family day trips down to the coast. That was great. And anyway, Last shift I worked with you, you were banging on all night about going on strike. Yeah, but it's different, isn't it? When I say I'm gonna go on strike, I fucking mean it, innit? Like, I'm gonna go on fucking strike. <laughs> Obviously, each time I say bro, like, I don't need a fucking gang, bro. Like, I'm fucking one man up, innit? I don't need no fucking no Masons, no Illuminati, no fucking unions, bro. Like, back in my ass up, innit? Like, what's this thing? Like, Bob Crow, Russell Crowe, innit? Helping me out, innit? Now, bro. Now, bro. I do mean it, like. I'm independent. Go on! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, 
Bro, what the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> it wasn't me. Yeah, man. Hey, you ever played that game on Facebook? Or Farmville? Oh, uh, man. Bro, it's like the best. Like me and Jenna play it. Like, you get to grow your own stuff on your own farm. And then you sell it. Like, you make money. Like, Bro, you actually right right fucking play that? Yeah. Like, messing about with fake crops and that? Yeah. <laughs> The one, mate. I don't need to mess around with fake fucking crops, bro. I know about raw things like that, bro. I used to live with my grandparents, didn't it? Yeah. And a teenage mum and it, so they kind of like helped out in that, bro. We, we, we planted. Bro, we used to go down to it, but come on, picking raspberries, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they, they, they love like planting things and that. And like, and making things, bro. They used to make me and my little brother like little things and like that, pots and like fucking, you know, like lollipop sticks and that. But not complicated little things, but all this fake shit, bro. Nah, they're fucking old now, they're old. Now they just watch John Wayne, bro. <laughs> Rio Grande and the searches. My nan hates John Wayne. She can't stand him. She calls my granddad the prune. She calls her the fat cow. <laughs> she always says, You ain't nice, you are. Bro, it's mad. My granddad buys balloons for the dogs, right? And he, he calls them loons and he blows it up and he throws it to the dog. And the dog's like biting on it and fucking scraps on it, a fucking mad thing, bro. Never pops a fucking balloon. No. Gardening, that's the thing they're into. They, they love seeing new things grow. Now look at it, man. Don't even know what I'm looking at. They're like rhubarb, man. <laughs> How the fuck's rhubarb? <laughs> <laughs> I swear it's just open. I look at that little plot like it's, it's everything to them. Talk about the ages, but there's nothing there. Like. It's a piece of shit, really. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's 2015, they, they don't know about no fucking no farm tools, bro. No Twitter, Facebook, none of that. Like, Apple Max and that, they, they know about real fucking apples. <laughs> now, nah, to them, it's just about gardens, like balloons, and, and hours and hours of the juke. Different world, man. Like, that shit. Look, look, come in. Like, I showed you here. Look, look, look. Look. The gem one? But I'm going sat singles. And now she's like exporting to South America, bro. Look, look. She's making loads of money. You're on that thing, though. Like. Yeah. But didn't you ever like playing real games in it? Oh, of course I did. Like, running about run in it? Like. Yeah. Man, did you ever go to like the coast in it? Like, bang out the fruit and one on the bad spot? Yeah, of course. <laughs> You're a big man, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, big man, yeah. Get sober. Haven't you ever thought about getting serious? Serious? That's yeah, serious. yeah, yeah, serious. Yeah. Serious with your paper, bro? That money? Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, serious. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. What's to say me and you don't start stacking dough, bro? Me and you? Me and you, bro. You're supposed to save up a grand a piece. What grand? It'll, it'll, it'll take time, man. We both set up a grand and then we flip that to five grand. Whoa, look at five grand. We flip that over. Imagine that, bro. Me and you, a grand here, just sitting there, bro. And we take that grand and we flip that, bro, to five grand, bro. Are you on that thing, bro? Me and you, bro. Grand each, bro. We're gonna flip that, bro. We take that grand and we go down to Mecca Bingo, bro. We full house, flip that over. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> You didn't know about things ever. Man, fucking easy. It's, it's kind of easy, but it's kind of complicated. Like, you go down there, bro, and you, you have this fucking pen, it's like it's circling the numbers, and it's like, it's coming at you kind of fast, bro, and like, you got to catch it. But when you catch it, it's like, boom, flip that door, bro, full house, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't mess with that folk tip, but for me, it's more the stamper thing, that's more my style, bro, I stamp it in that, bro. Bingo, man. Yeah, but, like, bingo. <laughs> Ain't that like gambling? That's like triumph without merit. That's like half of humanity, man. Triumph? What? Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> okay. How many hours did you work last week? How many hours are you going to end up working this week? Next fucking week. We just work a week and we never got fucking paid. Get gambling, man. At least we're fucking bingo. We put down our fucking money, bro. And if we win, we flip that door. If we lose, well, at least we had a fucking choice in that. Man.
Don't get him, man. My nan used to play every day. Bowling Tuesday. Bowling Tuesday. 
Like, like when you say something about some hours being cut. Then Whoa, it, that's it. That's hold, that's hold on, it. hours being cut. Yeah. What did he say? I, I just told you. Like, you asked me that. Like, what do I know? I told you that like, I was getting cut. That's what I fucking heard. Like. No, but please, this is important. Like, like, what exactly did he say? He said, bro, he said something in it. Like, I won't even listen, bro. I won't even listen to what he's saying. Like, he says things, innit? And like, like, I say things. I, I, I don't even know what I'm fucking hearing. I don't know what I'm saying, bro. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Like, I don't know what I'm saying. Like, 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 just come on at me. Like. Alright, well, I don't, I don't know. Bro. You can say it to me in the future, like, you'll tell me, yeah? What's the problem, like? Why are you laughing, man? Bro, bro. Gemma's due next month, mate. Like, we still live with my parents in a spare room. Bro, I've got a ton of debts. I don't got to pay bills. Like, this ain't enough. I need more shifts. Gemma came along when I was in a mess She helped me sort out my life Took me down to six as advice and helped me get my head right We enjoy each other's company We have a laugh, she thinks I'm funny I tap her on the shoulder and run away and She falls for it so easily She always leaves a third of her tea and the mother only eats half of her biscuit We both like sci-fi films I both think he's spenders his shit We don't spend much time together I work nights and she works days But those few minutes in the day that we get are always worth the wait I don't want them brand new clothes don't need that holiday abroad. I'm fine with four stripe Adidas. Just wanna spend time with Gemma Mom. Don't want them brand new clothes. Don't need that holiday abroad. I'm fine with four stripe Adidas. Just wanna spend time with Gemma Mom. for a finance company over in the city. She does it right. Doesn't earn loads of money, but <laughs> funnily enough, like her company had their annual works due last week. So I was invited along with a plus one mate. Like proper plush do, what you call it, like a black tie. So all the guys there were in dinner jackets and all the women were in cocktail dresses and I had to borrow a suit off my dad, bro. Oh, bro, bro, bro. Was there free food there? Oh mate, loads of free food. That's sick, man. Loads of free food. All come around on them silver trays and like champagne flutes and imagine that, mate. Me mixing with the best of reality. Tell you what, though, like this this really awkward thing happened though when I was there. Like, it was this moment of conversation, and when it happened, right, I remember looking around the room to see if anyone else noticed, and like no one batted an eye. It was started by this one thing this person said. That all said that. We were talking about uh, like Woolworths, mm -hmm. and I was saying that like it was an intrinsic part of the British High Street for years. But like, going down Ballin with your nan on a Saturday, mm -hmm. Lady Bird books, mm -hmm. P-Man toys, micro machines, yeah, micro machines, bro. Chad Valley, pick and mix, mm -hmm. and then this then this woman says this thing, right? I would guess what she said. But I don't know what she said that before. <laughs> <laughs> like really put yourself in the moment, like right there, imagine it, me, everyone in suits yeah. all around, big plush function, yeah. all in dinner jackets, holding court in the conversation. Yeah. Just have a guess, bro, we'll never guess, but guess anyway. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I can't fucking guess, like what, like, I keep thinking about the free food in there. <laughs> Alright. When I said, isn't it a shame that all the branches are closed down? And then this woman, in like this power suit and clipped accent and all that, turns around and goes, yeah, isn't it a shame? Where would all the chads buy their Christmas presents now? Bro, I couldn't believe it. I was disgusted. Fucking fuck you, man. Shocked. 
What? That's my family, bro. No, bro. What's wrong with people? It's a fucking joke. It makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. What? <laughs> like, where are they going to go? Protein deficient, isn't it? <laughs> what? Well, you know, like most people our age are protein deficient, like. Right? You no. Know. You know this? You no. Know. Did no one tell you the story about the wicked witch that came along and stole the fucking kids' milk, right? No. No one told you that. That's not one of your YouTube videos, bro. That's a fact, bro. Right. You and your little story, man. You make me laugh. The thing about you, yeah? Is that you believe everything you read in the newspaper? Every fucking little thing you read, like, oh yeah, I believe that. But I'm gonna tell you a fucking newspaper story, bro. Alright? My local paper tried to shame up this girl and like, make her out to be a tramp. Like, this girl in my state, her name was Kelly. She's 21 years old, three, like, three babies, three different baby bottles, like. She's cool, bro. Like, no, no one's shown her the right way to do things, innit? It's like, you know, she hangs about the estate, like, she lets some of the man just hang, chew in her yard, you know? Like, she's safe, bro. Like, but case in point, this 89-year-old in the state had a birthday. 
and Kelly put balloons up, put banners up, like, I got all the local kids dancing and that, like, for this old woman. And she got a shovel trolley and put it for the vinyls, and that like, 70s vinyls and that, like, for, for the old girl and that. Like, uh, obviously, like, to me and you, that like, 70s is really old, isn't it? She was 89, so that's kind of recent, so that. Like, she had liked this record, didn't it? Didn't fuck it were, but I'm trying to work out, what kind of record would she like that? Like? Maybe that like, Lambert Ford or something like that. <laughs> but anyway, the point is, yeah, like, that's the kind of thing this girl would do, that, like, you know, nice things. And the old woman had tears in her eyes. Like, turns out back in the day, she was something like a writer or something like, important. You know, I don't know how it happened, but that, that shopping trolley ended up, ended up out the front of Kelly's yard. Like, and all the local kids started throwing rubbish in it. Like quick save, no frills, crisp packets, pan and pop bottles, like an old tire, all that shit. And then some spiteful, coked out journalist decided to take pictures of the front of her house. Make her out to be a trapper. Make her out to be a scumbag. A young girl like that. That's a fucking newspaper story, bro. She had to, she had to quit her job, like volunteering and help the agent, man. Fucking story. <coughs> Would you ban him? She was a rapper still. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> tired. I'm working so hard on it. Centimeters, mate. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> nice. Stephen, that's sparks, isn't it? 
Do you want a cup of tea? Come on, man. I know I was going to ask you. Right, it was you I was working with the other week, right? And you were watching Scarface on your phone. Talking about being an actor, right? That was you, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching Scarface, isn't it? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was just saying it, that like, sick film, isn't it? Like, yeah. Like, they needed another Al Pacino, it's kind of like, it's mad, but like, it's kind of obvious, like, where they're going, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, but the reason I'm asking you, right? Because it's a funny thing. Like, you think about it, bro, like, like, Al Pacino's being old, isn't it? Like, Kalito's dumb, bro. If they needed another Al Pacino, it's like, bro, like, <laughs> like yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The like, reason I'm asking, right? It's like, Cause uh, this funny thing. Are, are, are you thinking about it, like all the fucking places you work, like all, all the schools you've been to, like growing up, and like, like everyone, all the adults you fucking know, like you know, if they needed like, you know, Albertino, that to be replaced, like who the fuck would they come to, man? I, I don't know, bro. I like that you die out. I don't. Bro, like, <laughs> you don't know about this shit, bro. Wait, wait, what's before anyway? Like, when are we getting that? Like? What I was gonna say, I actually met an actor, right? Is it recently? Yeah, Gemma's cousin, right? He's just moved to London, yeah. and I met him at some family barbecue that we're having in Quay. Mm -hmm. Right, he's just graduated from some drama school. He's uh, originally from up north somewhere, like like Bristol or something. Mm -hmm. and, um, <laughs> anyway, right. First time I meet this guy, the first thing he does is start slagging off Quay. Dick I'm like, who's this prick? No, no. And he's like, he's a bit weird, bro. He has like. Like thick rimmed glasses and like a big beard and like scruffy hair, like weird clothes. And that. I know him once, bro. It's like, was he like covered in bare tattoos? He's a pussy, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've seen that, bro. I've seen that. Yeah. But you know what? Like, he's actually alright. Like, he's, he's, yeah, he's a good guy. And uh, we went and watched one of his shows. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was in some kind of like weird sort of warehouse place in like mm. East London somewhere. Mm, like, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I went along with Gemma, right? <laughs> and I quite enjoyed it. I'd never really been to them sort of places before. Mm -hmm. I didn't really know what was going on. No, no, no. Going on? And I definitely felt out of place. <laughs> like, there weren't really anyone from London. And no one from Inden. No, no, no one from Inden. No, 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 But I liked it, right? I enjoyed it. And afterwards, we were having a drink with him in the bar. I oh, yeah, bro, it was so weird. Yeah. Like, everyone in there was drinking like these weird beers from like jam jars and that. That's all oh, key, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, right? He was saying that he runs this club. Like every week, yeah, it's free. And what it is, like actors and other performers, like comedians and stuff, they go down and they do like a uh, like improv. And like, I know them ones, bro. Yeah, yeah. Bro. You should get involved, bro. Me, like involved yeah. in that, that's a little covenant. Yeah. yeah. Bro, like, imagine me going down there to this covenant. Imagine that. Like, what, do you know what happened? Then? No. Like, like me, like just rolling up to their little thing. Like, is that fair? Like, obviously, you know what can happen. No, not really. You're not until you go. Like, what's I'll fucking thing? shut it down, man. <laughs> I know about them acting things, like, I used to go to this boys' school, innit? Like, everyone there was banging out, like, rugby, football, athletics, all them things, bro. And it's like, I couldn't get involved, man. I, I was born with a bad heart, innit? Really? Yeah, but really, like, obviously, like, when you look at me, you're thinking, like, semi-pro footballer, like, rugby, and that. Like, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Like, like, I couldn't get involved, like, me, like, so. I had to stick out, innit? Like, I, I couldn't, I had to make my own lane, so I'd tell jokes, and, like, make people, people laugh, innit? Like, I swear at the teachers, like, take my trousers down, like, jump on the table, get my dick out, all that shit, bro. <laughs> and then in drama, like, it, it gave me confidence, bro. Like, everyone was, like, laughing, watching for what I do next, bro. I remember just doing those impros, like, I was really, started reading scripts, monologues and that, like, doing all these scenes, bro. And then the drama teacher said, he said, like, it was going to be this drama club on a Wednesday. And I thought, a drama club? That, that, that's me, like, that's going to be my thing. I knew it there, then, that's me. I couldn't wait for that Wednesday, man. I even told my mum about it. Yeah. Like she said it was gay, but anyway, I fucking told her. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I went there, maths, like, it was all coming at me. I couldn't even, like, compute it, bro. I remember just slamming my books down, like, going down the corridor, like, walking into that classroom. Like, I, I, I forget, forgot the books in the classroom, but like, I walked in there, and it's like, like, there was no one there. Like, I was just one man up. So what happened? The drama teacher, like, just, just carried that, that club on, just one on one. Yeah. Like, week after week, we did, like, characterizations, we did improvisations. Monologues, duologues, scenes that we put us on plays and that like, like obviously after after two years, like he left in it, like he, he left the school and so like, I stopped doing it and that's that's when I realised it's a fucking waste of time, like all that, that improv thing, all that thing, bro. Like, waste of time, like, no point, bullshit, bullshit. So let me get this straight. 
So I mean, you were at school. You did drum. Yeah, man. So you were a pussy. What the fuck was going on? I'm only messing, man. But like, in all seriousness, like, why don't you do it now? Like, you're working, earning a bit of money. Why are you doing both, bro? I'm not even getting fucking paid, man. And you got paid for like all these drama schools, auditions, and that. Like, there's bare nepotism in that game, like. Bro, like they're helping to scratch each other's backs and that, like fucking internships, all that shit. Bro. What is an internship? Send it to the people, man. It's a shame, bro. It's like, real shame. Like, my dad always said it's good to have hobbies. Yeah. And, like, something creative. Like, acting, painting. Like, I wish I had a talent like that. As a kid, I idolised Paul Gaskin, even when the nation watched him fall. With the ball at his feet, there weren't many better. The complete player, he had it all. On playgrounds and in parks, we tried to mimic his tricks. Cruyff turns, defence splitting passes and pinpoint free kicks. He lit fires in excitement like beacons in bellies. From small boys to fully grown men, we watched tellies and he gave us hope. He held ball them by the throat. And just like us, he was one in your room. He was the one we wanted to be. He set the template for what we achieved. Must have been about 15 when I stopped dreaming. I was still playing, but I barely made the bench for my own team. Under 15 Sunday League. Paul Gascoigne was a freak. Left with diamond like properties at his feet, he was one in a million. And I was one in the 999,000 that weren't brilliant. My dad told me that. So did my mates. So did my teachers. But not before I'd already told myself. Them telling me I'm validating my mind state. Come 16 and went to leave school. Get married, have kids. I play golf and snooker at the weekend with my mates. And afterwards sink a couple of drafts. And get in my car, drive home, and watch reality TV shows. With my wife and kids. Because that's reality, right? I don't want to be a Paul Gascoigne or any celebrity because I can't be. I'm 999,000 people combined. And if I find that want to be Paul Gascoigne, I wish him the best of luck. But to be honest, he's better off getting a real job. Just like the rest of us. Like, hobbies, bro. Like, you can start anything anytime you want it. Like. For extra, bro. Like, you go in, like. So fucking extra. It's like, man like you, like, like goes to work every day. Bro. Like, you're the type of guy that like, fucking checks holes in fences, like, over and over fucking again. You're that dude that checks charts to see, like, who came on time. Who came in late and fucking grasping on, man. Nah, bro. You're clever, close, bro. Your fucking job's worth it. Like, you can do anything you want, bro. Not me. Yeah. Hardly. Tell you what, before I started here, I was unemployed for two years, mate. Mm. Signing on the whole time. You? Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Cleverclaws? Yeah, Mr. Cleverclaws. Remember, like, I tried everything. I applied for everything. Online every day, going up and down the high streets, giving in CVs, filling in endless job application forms. And I find those things like really hard, bro. I'm dyslexic. I got turned down for Tesco's, Sainsbury's, JD Sports, Costa Coffee, Superdrug, Cool Centers, Data Admin, Clerical Admin, Flipping, Traffic Warden. Man, I remember I got turned down for Tyrak, right? Tyrak? Tyrak. Because it's the only one I had an interview for, right? And I remember it because I proper psyched myself up for it. And like, during the interview, I got completely bamboozled. Like gobsmacked, couldn't say anything. Person interviewed me, right? Goes, Mark, tell us why you want to work at Tyrac. <laughs> bro, 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 like, why did you want to work at Tyrac? Bro, I, I didn't care. I just wanted a flipping job. I would have gone down the sewers if they sent me. It didn't matter. I was desperate. And I wouldn't have done anything. And I thought that was obvious. You know, like, I, I couldn't answer the question. I just, I, I couldn't say nothing. Words wouldn't come out. Bro, the whole two years, Gemma was supporting both of us. On her receptionist wages. And mate, there is no way on planet Earth I ever want to go back to filling them them fucking job seeker diaries. No way. Like you, like me. Going through all that. Yeah. Fucking 
you mad at that? Making me think like that. Like, like we both went through the same shit, bro. Like, yeah. Now we're fucking here, like going through the same fucking shit, like. Yeah. You mad? Careful, yeah. That started to sound like uni to talk, mate. <coughs> no, no, man, I'm banging on all about this fucking uni shit. I'm just saying, like, like going through the same shit, man. Seriously, though, like, I know that's not your cup of tea, all that stuff. You know, like, whilst we're working here, like, together, like, I've got your back on. Have you? Yeah. Cool, man, like that. Yeah. You've got mine? Like, we can make our own little union. Like, Mark and Sparks, yeah? <laughs> we'll look after each other, bro. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to tea, that? <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, another 20 minutes or so and then we'll do the final round, but yeah, all quiet, mate. Like, nothing, nothing to report. Yeah, I've got a minute, yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah. No, he didn't say nothing. So big. Right. What's going on? What's he saying? That like Wayne in that, like, what's he saying? Mark. Mark! I've got no shifts next week. Is it? and none for the foreseeable future. You've got 37 and a half hours next week. What? And you've known it since last Tuesday. You must be pissed in it, like, really fucking pissed, bro. Like, I know what you're thinking, that. Like. I know exactly what you're thinking, like, who's gonna look after this place, bro? bro I am, like, I'm gonna do this fucking chance, bro, like, over and over again, like. I'm not gonna sweep the fucking floor, bro. I'll even search the fucking out of here, like, for the holes, bro. I'll check, check the hole, like, four times a shift, bro. Like, it'll probably be, like, two times in it, like, two times, like, four times in it, bro. Bro, I'm here, innit, like. Don't worry about that, man. Like, I'm looking after this place, innit? We call it. 
his boss now. He said that. Mark. I couldn't have done anything. Keep that back. Yeah. It's getting bigger, man. Good luck. Giving up like retired jazz hands. Legs way down of inertia, neck fain and a scratch. All of this to earn a scratch and the right to reside in a postcode in the smoke. Chose that path on a ramp, trying to make that train in the rain. Why do I do this? I say. It's 7:45 a.m. and the weekend is four days away. Promo girls and boys greet me in the station with a TV smile. Smile, they say. And I just take that free yogurt and head on my way. Cocky bricks and bibs and clipboards of the gold to call me fella and geezer. Trying to get me to donate to a place that's worlds away. Minus the commission on glossy ad campaigns. Not the date, mate. Out my way, bro. I'm running late. Start picking up my pace. Back on umbrellas in my face. All these shops just look the same. And I've a chain of a different name. Selling that brand on a cart that's drunk on a train. Deja vu. This street scene is on loop. Like getting that letter from a credit I stay. And my credit card payment is overdue. Can't work out what to do. I like the school set. Numbers get one of my brain, get in trouble when I have my review. Can't work out what to do. I've got no value, and this job is deflating my attitude. Finally, I arrive. My journey has come to an end. My workday's about to begin, and my chair I sink, I speak on the screen. Blood pumping, sugar, and caffeine. This is what I do. This is what I do. They know the value of nothing yet. They know just what the cost is. Don't know what the loss is. No more milk for the cost. They know the value of nothing. You're sure they know just what the cost is. Don't know what the loss is. No more milk for the cost. They know just what the cost is 
Don't know what the loss is, no more milk for the foxes. foxes. They know the value of nothing, yes, yeah, sure they know just what the cost is. Don't know what the loss is, no more milk for the foxes. Thank you for that. Um, this is a collaboration as Beats and Elements, our, our performance uh, hip-hop hip theatre company, whatever you want to call it. And if you like the show, please tweet about it. If you didn't like the show, please tweet about it. <laughs> um, because you know, we've got one more show tomorrow, and hopefully we can do more shows in the future. And yeah, we've got some CDs at the bar for sale, three pounds. Yes. Uh, support some uh, up-and-coming artists. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll have a chat at the bar or something. Thanks for coming out tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hold on. 